Hey guys, this is Technological with a very special video today. We are going to be doing Angry Birds vs. Angry Birds Seasons vs. Angry Birds Rio. All three apps, which one's better? Alright, so let's start off with the original Angry Birds. Angry Birds Classic, I guess I should call it. So, as you can see, loading times. It's taking a while to start up. So just wait. We get this black screen. Then finally we should get something. Oh, okay. Here we go. So now it's starting up. Angry Birds. I don't like this loading screen. I think Angry Birds is more of a cartoonish game. And I think this, you know, it's it's kind of real life-ish. So I don't like that. Alright, so here we have birds flying around in the background. Everything looks pretty smooth. But as you can see, instantly when I hit that play button, you can kind of see a little bit of lag. So let's go into the big setup. Again, let's see when I tap on it. I tapped on it, and it's lagging. So multiple levels. Scrolling between levels is pretty simple. Um, there's not much lag there. You can view all the levels. But when you want to go into a level, so you tap on it, and then again, it's kind of slow. Um, so yeah, you can launch birds and stuff. Everything once you get inside is actually fun. But let's say, you know, oh, I messed that, uh, bird launch up. I want to go back. If I hit pause, see, it's waiting, it's waiting. And then I can tap this, and then it's waiting, yeah. You know, so it's kind of laggy in this, uh, version of the game. See. Again, and often, see, here we have ads, so you have to wait for the ads to load before you can do anything else. After it's been sitting a while, it's a little bit faster, but see, I can tap it. See, because I tapped it multiple times, but it had to completely load all the ads before I could actually refresh it. That's really annoying because this is a paid application and I don't think there should be any ads in a paid application. So that's why Angry Birds Rio is number, no, Angry Birds the Classic is number three in this versus match. Alright, so now it's between Angry Birds Seasons and Angry Birds Rio. Let's go into Angry Birds Rio. Okay, so first off, major con with both Angry Birds Rio and the original Angry Birds. First of all, advertising Rio is for the movie. So that's that can be cool for a while. I mean, it's a good movie, but you know the plot can get old fast because no one's gonna remember the movie in November probably. So you know, unless you watch it multiple times, you're probably gonna forget it. And so, that's why the plot can kind of pro- it's gonna get old, I'm sure of it. Alright, so we have awards here, and you can collect golden pineapples and golden bananas for each level pack. And each level pack comes with about two pages, each page containing 15 levels, that is 30 levels total. So we have May, June, July... No, May, July, October, November, for when the new level packs are being released. So we have to wait, you know, a month or two between each level pack. So that's Angry Birds Rio. Um, yeah, another thing is the graphics for this game are so much better than the original Angry Birds. As you can see, everything has kind of got this more smooth and nicer feel to it. And the graphics are just amazing. The game runs super s smoothly. As you can see, I can restart a level just like that. There's really no lag at all. Okay. Um, but one of the major cons for this and the original New Birds is that they have a set number of levels. I mean, after November um, 2011, there's not going to be any more levels. That's it. And the original Angry Birds, its levels are already set. So, you already have that many levels, and that's not changing. So, 
yeah, there's nothing you can do about that, so that's kind of annoying. Um, so that's why Angry Birds Wheel is number two. In Angry Birds Seasons, by the name Seasons, you get a new level pack every season. So as far as we know, the updates are not going to stop coming. That's what makes this game number one. It's got all the features of Angry Birds, um, except you got themes for each season, keeping it, you know, giving it this constant new look for every update, making it fresh and exciting every time you play it. Let's go into the St. Patrick's Day update, and you can see we have all these levels. You get ranked just like any other Angry Birds game. And you just launch the birds at the pigs, but you can see the pigs have like clovers and top hats because it is the Angry Birds seasons, St. Patrick's Day. And the game runs smoothly, you don't have to wait for anything, you just pause and restart the level if you failed for some reason. You can even get three extra levels for liking them on Facebook or Twitter. And then you get a bonus level for getting three stars on all the levels. So that's why Angry Birds Seasons is number one in this versus match. I hope you enjoyed this video by Technological. Please thumbs up and subscribe. I make tons of videos and app reviews and more. So thanks for watching, guys. Bye.